In this video, we're going to learn how to set up multiple cameras in Mainsail or Fluid using Clipper firmware. Then we'll walk through setting up multiple cameras in the Obico app so you can take advantage of Nozzle Ninja, Obico's new first layer AI. Nozzle Ninja utilizes a nozzle camera, a camera that provides a super up close view of the print to watch the first layer and detect any issues with things like under extrusion, over extrusion, poor bed adhesion, and more. Then Obico sends you a notification via a push notification or email and provides you with a first layer report with detailed information about that print. Well, let's get started. First, open up the mainsail or fluid interface. Click machine and mainsail or configuration in fluid. Then open up the crow's nest Comp. You may or may not have this devices tab and it may or may not work. Click the devices tab if it's present and refresh on the serial, USB, or video tabs to see if any information is provided. If the path by ID is provided under video, you can copy that for each camera. But if it's not available, like in this situation here, then we'll need to find the path using SSH. We'll put a link below in case you're unfamiliar with SSH. Now we'll try a few commands to see if we can find the path for the printer. Enter these commands in order until one of them shows you the device IDs. In this case, V4L by ID worked. So I'll copy the ID for the C270 camera and for the nozzle camera. Now I'll go back to mainsail and open back up the crow's nest.comp. Next, I'll copy and paste the first cam section just to duplicate it so I have two webcam sections. Now I'm gonna paste the path ID that I got earlier into the device section for the first webcam. Then I'll paste the path for the second webcam in the device section for the second webcam. Now I'll change the port for the second webcam to 8081. I'll comment out these parts that I added earlier just to help me with copy and pasting. And then I'll save and close. Now we'll open up the settings section in Mainsail, scroll down to webcams and click add webcam. I'll name my first webcam C270, making sure I'm paying attention to the capitalization. And then I'll name my second webcam. This time I'll change the URL to webcam two instead of just webcam. And then I should see my nozzle camera. Awesome. Now we'll save, and then we'll just go back and make sure everything looks good in mainsail. And everything is looking great. Now let's configure multiple webcams in Obico. Go back to the machine tab or configuration in fluid and click Moonraker Obico.cfg. Now my primary camera is the C270. So in the first webcam section, I'll just type C270 and make sure it's still enclosed in brackets. Then I'll copy the whole section and I'll just replace C270 with nozzle in the second. Remember, these are the names we added in mainsail earlier and they're case sensitive. In the nozzle camera section, we'll add a line is nozzle camera equals true. Next, save and close and then click the power button and the restart button under Moonraker Obico to restart Moonraker Obico. Now we can head over to the Obico app and see how things are working. Awesome, there's our nozzle camera, there's our C270 camera, and of course we can look at multiple streams at once. If you still run into issues after configuring the cameras, Try adding the snapshot URL and the stream URL to each camera. I'll access Moonraker Obico. I'll add a field snapshot URL. And stream URL. And it's going to be HTTP your IP address. Slash webcam slash question action equals snapshot.
and will be the same, but with stream for the second one. And then for the second webcam, it will be now webcam two. Here I can save and close. I'll restart Moonraker Obico. And now you can see both streams are working. They were already working, but if they weren't before, they may work after adding the snapshot and stream URL. Once you have multiple cameras working in the Obico app, you can continue the Nozzle Ninja configuration process. I'll leave a link for that below. You'll just need to select which printer you want to use for Nozzle Ninja and then configure your slicer.